when you're first starting the sport, you have an idea in your head that you want to be a world champion or an Olympic champion. I think the, the most important thing is dedication, like in anything else. If this is something you really want to do, you need to get out there and find an environment with people in it that are living in a way that you want to achieve. And, and get out there and learn the sport and have fun with the sport and try and get to work with people who can teach you the most. You need to start early, but not specialize too early. That's one thing. The other thing is associate with a group. And there's, there's a reluctance sometimes uh, for people to do that. They, they, they fear competition. And you've got to get so you love competition. And that you don't have the same phobias about it that people do when they, they, they train alone and they come together only for the race. And they start experiencing all these, these mental anxieties and things for the first time at the race site. Oh, no, no, you got to get over all of that in training, you know, years earlier. So the group training is, is a really good way to do that. Plus, obviously, you can learn technique by talking with each other, watching each other. So for many reasons, I'd say associate with a group. Start young and associate with a group. If you have the chance to move somewhere where it's wild water, I would give the advice, go there, train with better people, and you improve automatically if you're in a, in a group, and just learn from each other. Just paddle as many water as you can many white water and uh, learn the technique, uh, watch the others, watch the best paddlers and try to do the same, you know, watch them how they, how they are training, how they are racing, how they are preparing uh, before the race, you know, uh, talk to them because uh, we are all like one big happy family and we all talk to each other. In this day of technology, there's video posted everywhere on the internet, just whenever you have a free moment sitting around, just search the internet and find a YouTube video of someone you know doing a crazy upstream that you can go out and try and just always always watch and always have fun uh, just just think about it all the time I mean it's it's infectious and it's I don't know, it's a lifestyle it's really fun and if you're always watching and always asking questions it's all you'll think about and it's all you'll want to do and you'll just get better watching and seeing what is state of the art and then always questioning, you know, what is possible, you know, where is it going to go next, and trying to anticipate. The top performers have uh, one thing in common, and that is what I call fascination for the process. They're so interested in all the little details about the sport that they inevitably do them more than anybody else, and in so doing, they become better than anybody else. They reach a level of understanding that the rest of us don't even understand exists. And uh, after, the best training is to race, because your, your real potential will be proved on the race.